Good morning, YouTube. What is up? It is Seth Ream, and welcome to day eight of the vlog. Well, I am back from Kentucky, so that means I'm starting the vlogs back up again. It was a great experience, and I hope to be able to go back next year. But right now it is Wednesday, and I need to get to class, so uh, let's go. And now we're downtown. All right, I'm going to head to class now. I'll see you guys later. One hour, 15 minutes later. So I just got out of class, and now I'm going to go get something to eat. And then Mason and I have an interview with the Christian County headliner. Hours later. Alright, I just got done with lunch. I am running late, so there's gonna be no cool sequence. Instead, I'm just gonna do the SpongeBob time lapse thing. One hour later. Cool, so we just got done with our interview with the Christian County headliner. It is going to be awesome. We will be in either the November 2nd or the November 9th issue of that. Watch my social media and I will let you guys know exactly which one we're gonna be in. And I am home for the night. So I think I'll just fill you guys in on exactly what I did while I was in Kentucky. Now I wasn't able to film a lot of things while I was there because we stayed extremely busy. I was hoping to get a lot of footage and make it a, a mini documentary kind of thing. So instead I'm just going to show you the clips that I do have and talk about it. Eleven o'clock at night, we had finally reached our destination. There it is, the Gap Lodge. Now on the first day, I didn't film anything. We worked at the distribution center for Gap, where we handed out food and clothing to people who needed it. Then our group was taken to a group home that had a bunch of mentally handicapped people who we gave crafts to, snacks to, and I did magic for. While we were there, I was also hit on by one of the people living in the group home. It was awkward. Day two, we worked in the Christmas store. Each year, they have a bunch of people come in for Christmas, and they can get gifts. This place is incredible. Just look at all of the toys that they have here. The next couple of days was just us preparing for the fall festival that was going to be that weekend. This is what that looked like. We are making baskets for the fair on Saturday. Mm -hmm. oh, for the see. fall fest. What's some of the stuff we got here? Slinky, slinky, slinkies. Okay. Is Pepper. everybody getting slinky? No. 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 What all do they get? They get um, a toothbrush, toothpaste, special to me, um, combs, paper, coloring books, coloring books colors, okay. dock playing cards, okay, um, uh, perfume. Lotion. Little animals. Okay. See, we have two cute little kitties. Cute kitties, um, cute all right. Kitties, pencils and sharpeners. Okay. Um, so basically, and what's this for? Explain what we're doing. This is so that Gap gets into the town next door, next door to where they are, so that they can share Jesus. So we're going to share Jesus with them. Because well, it's a big church. carnival, right? That's, it's a, it's that's like a, a fall fest. A fall fest. So we'll be serving chili and drinks and love. Well, there you go. That's the best. Wraps it all up, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. Then on our last day, we had their fall festival, which was a huge hit. A great turnout. I did magic the entire time at my own little tent. It was wonderful. We definitely helped some people out that needed it. Then there was going home. Yet another 13 hour long trip. Being in a vehicle for 13 hours though, really gives you time to reflect on what you did that week. You see, McDowell, Kentucky is a very poor area. The difference between Gap and other things that help people out is that most things that help people who are poor out try to help them get a job so they can support themselves again. In McDowell, there's no place for people to get hired. So Gap, just continues to help those people out for as long as they need it. 
like I said, it's a great experience, and I hope I can go back again next year. Well, that's it for my Kentucky experience. That is also the end of today's vlog, so I will see you guys tomorrow.